Jonesboro's House of Eris's Science and Fnord Committee presents the affordable and house official magnum opiate of Malacalypse the Younger Principia Discordia by Malacalypse the Younger, designed by Reverend Timothy Edward Bowen. The magnum opiate of Malacalypse the Younger, not junk mail, Principia Discordia, or how I found goddess and what I did to her when I found her wherein is explained absolutely everything worth knowing about absolutely anything. A jug of wine, a leg of lamb, and thou beside me whistling in the darkness. Be ye not lost among precepts of order. The Book of Uterus, 1.5 Some excerpts from an interview with Malacolips the Younger by the Greater Metropolitan Yorba Linda Herald, News Sun, Tribune, Journal, Dispatch, Post, and San Francisco Discordian Society Cabal, Bulletin and Intergalactic Report, and Pope Poop. Greater Poop. Are you really serious or what? Mal 2. Sometimes I take humor seriously. Sometimes I take seriousness humorously. Either way is irrelevant. GP. Maybe you are just crazy. M2. Indeed. But do not reject these teachings as false because I am crazy. The reason that I am crazy is because they are true. GP. Is Eris true? M2. Everything is true. GP. Even false things? M2. Even false things are true. GP. How can that be? M2. I don't know, man. I didn't do it. GP. Why do you deal with so many negatives? M2. To dissolve them. GP. Will you develop that point? M2. No. GP. Is there an essential meaning behind P-O-E-E? -E? M2. There is a Zen story about a student who asked the master to explain the meaning of Buddhism. The master's reply was three pounds of flax. GP. Is that your answer to my question? M2. No, of course not. That is just illustrative. The answer to your question is five tons of flax. Suspended Annihilation. Fourth edition, ODD number 2, 2, 12, 68, chapters 31, 36. Principia Discordia, or How I Found the Goddess and What I Did to Her, When I Found Her, being a beginning introduction to the Eurasian Mysteries, which is most interesting. As divinely revealed to my high reverence, Malaclips the, the Younger, KSC, omnibenevolent polyfather of virginity in gold and high priest of the paratheo and a metamystichood of Eris, esoteric, P-O-E-E, -E, Hail Eris, Callisti, all here, Hail Discordia. Dedicated to the prettiest one, the uproar of one hand clapping. Joshua Norton Cabal, Surrealists, Harlequinists, Absurdists, and Zonked Artists, Melee. POEE -E is one manifestation of the Discordian Society about which you will learn more and understand less. We are a tribe of philosophers, theologians, magicians, scientists, artists, clowns, and similar maniacs who are intrigued with Eris, goddess of confusion, and with her doings. Inspected for wholesomeness by U.S. Department of Agriculture, POO, Official Discordian Society, Hail Eris. I tell you. One must still have chaos in one to give birth to a dancing star. Nietzsche. The Sacred Cow. The Five Commandments. The Pentabarf. The Pentabarf was discovered by the hermit apostle Zarathud in the fifth year of the Caterpillar. He found them carved in gilded stone while building a sun deck for his cave, but their import was lost for they were written in a mysterious cipher. However, after ten weeks and eleven hours of intensive scrutiny, he discerned that the message could be read by standing on his head and viewing it upside down. There is no goddess but Eris. Know ye this, O man of faith, one. There is no goddess but, er uh, but goddess, and she is your goddess. There is no Eresian movement but the Eresian movement, and it is the Eresian movement. And every golden apple corpse is the beloved home of a golden worm. 2. A Discordian shall always use the official Discordian document numbering system. 3. A Discordian is required during his daily illumination to go off alone and partake joyously of a hot dog, 
on a Friday. This devotive ceremony to remonstrate against the popular paganism of the day, of Catholic Christendom, no meat on Friday, of Judaism, no meat of pork, of Hindic peoples, no meat of beef, of Buddhists, no meat of animal, and of Discordians, no hot dog buns. 4. A Discordian shall partake of no hot dog buns, for such was the solace of our goddess when she was confronted with the original snub. 5. A Discordian is prohibited of believing what he reads. It is so written, so be it. Hail Discordia. Prosecutors will be transgressicuted. Test question. From Topanga Cabal, the twelve famous Buddha mind school. If they are our brothers, how come we can't eat them? A Zen Story by Camden Benares, the Count of Five, Headmaster, Camp Meeker Cabal. A serious young man found the conflicts of mid-twentieth century America confusing. He went to many people seeking a way of resolving within himself the discords that troubled him, but he remained troubled. One night in a coffee house, a self-ordained Zen master said to him, Go to the dilapidated mansion you will find at this address which I have written down for you. Do not speak to those who live there. You must remain silent until the moon rises tomorrow night. Go to the large room on the right of the main hallway. Sit in the lotus position on top of the rubble in the northeast corner. Face the corner and meditate. He did as the Zen master instructed. His meditation was frequently interrupted by worries. He worried whether or not the rest of the plumbing fixtures would fall from the second floor bathroom to join the pipes and other trash he was sitting on. He worried how he would know when the moon rose on the next night. He worried about what the people who walked through the room said about him. His worrying and meditation were disturbed when, as if in a test of his faith, ordure fell from the second floor onto him. At that time, two people walked into the room. The first asked the second who the man sitting there was. The second replied, Some say he's a holy man. Others say he's a shithead. Hearing this, the man was enlightened. For deposit only. A Western Union Telegram To Jehovah Yahweh Care, Celestial Hotel, Suite Number 666, Presidential Tier, Paradise. Dear God, this is to inform you that your current position as deity is herewith terminated due to gross incompetence. Stop! Your check will be mailed. Stop! Please do not use me for reference. Respectfully, Malakalypse the Younger, Omnibenevolent Polyfather, P.O.E.E. -E High Priest. You're right, son. It would be a waste of your kind of talent to go into the insurance business. The birth of the Eurasian movement. 10. The earthquakes and the heavens rattle. The beasts of nature flock together and the nations of men flock apart. Volcanoes usher up heat while elsewhere water becomes ice and melts. And then on other days it just rains. 11. Indeed, do many of the things come to pass. HBT, the Book of Predications, Chapter 19. The Revelation. Just prior to the decade of the 1960s, when Sputnik was alone, and knew, and about the time that Ken Casey took his first acid trip as a medical volunteer, before underground newspapers, Vietnam, and talk of a second American revolution, in the comparative quiet of the late 1950s, just before the idea of renaissance became relevant, two young Californians, known later as Omar Ravenhurst and Malakalypse the Younger, were indulging in their habit of sipping coffee at an all-night bowling alley and generally solving the world's problems. This particular evening, the main subject of discussion was discord, and they were complaining to each other of the personal confusion they felt in their respective lives. Solve the problem of discord, said one, the other. Chaos and strife are the roots of all confusion. First, I must sprinkle you with fairy dust. Suddenly, the place became devoid of light. Then an utter silence enveloped them, and a great stillness was felt. Then came a blinding flash of intense light, as though their very psyches had gone nova. Then vision returned. The two were dazed, and neither moved nor spoke for several minutes. They looked around and saw the, that the bowlers were frozen, like statues in a variety of comic positions, and that a bowling ball was steadfastly anchored to the floor, only inches from the pins that it had been sent to scatter. The two looked at each other, totally unable to account for the phenomenon. The condition was one of suspension, and one noticed that the clock had stopped. New story of chaos. There walked into the room a chimpanzee, shaggy and gray about the muzzle, yet upright in his full five feet and poised with natural majesty. 
He carried a scroll and walked to the young men. Gentlemen, he said, why does Pickering's moon go about in reverse orbit? Gentlemen, there are nipples on your chests. Do you give milk? And what, pray tell, gentlemen, is to be done about Heisenberg's law? He paused. Somebody had to put all this confusion here. And with that he revealed his scroll. It was a diagram, like a yin-yang, with a pentagon on one side and an apple on the other. And then he exploded, and the two lost consciousness. Eris, goddess of chaos, discord, and confusion. They awoke to the sound of pins clattering and found the bowlers engaged in their game and the waitress busy with making coffee. It was apparent that their experience had been private. They discussed their strange encounter and reconstructed from memory the chimpanzee's diagram. Over the next five days they searched libraries to find the significance of it, but were disappointed to uncover references only to Taoism, the Korean flag, and technocracy. It was not until they traced the Greek writing on the apple that they discovered the ancient goddess known to the Greeks as Eris and to the Romans as Discordia. This was on the fifth night, and when they slept that night, each had a vivid dream of a splendid woman whose eyes were as soft as a feather and as deep as eternity itself, and whose body was the spectacular dance of atoms and universes. Pyrotechnics of pure energy formed her flowing hair, and rainbows manifested and dissolved as she spoke in a warm and gentle voice. I have come to tell you that you are free. Many ages ago, my consciousness left man that he might develop himself. I returned to find this development approaching completion, but hindered by fear and by misunderstanding. You have built for yourself psychic suits of armor, and clad in them. Your vision is restricted. Your movements are clumsy and painful. Your skin is bruised, and your spirit is broiled in the sun. I am chaos. I am the substance from which your artists and scientists build rhythms. I am the spirit with which your children and clowns laugh in happy anarchy. I am chaos. I am alive, and I tell you that you are free. During the next months, they studied philosophies and theologies, and learned that Eris of Discordia was primarily feared by the ancients as being disruptive. Indeed, the very concept of chaos was still considered equivalent to strife and treated as a negative. No wonder things are all screwed up. They concluded they have got it all backwards. They found that the principle of disorder was every much as significant as the principle of order. With this in mind, they studied the strange yin-yang. During a meditation one afternoon, a voice came to them. It is called the sacred cow. I appoint you keepers of it. Therein you will find anything you like. Speak of me as discord, to show contrast to the Pentagon. Tell constricted mankind that there are no rules, unless they choose to invent rules. Keep close the words of Sayadasti. Tis and ill, wind that blows no minds. And remember that there is no tyranny in the state of confusion. For further information, consult your pineal gland. I hear music. There are trivial truths, and there are great truths. The op opposite of a trivial truth is plainly false. The opposite of a great truth is also true. Niels Bohr. What is this? mumbled one to the other. A religion based on the goddess of confusion? It is utter madness. And with these words, each looked at the other in absolute awe. Omar began to giggle. Mal began to laugh. Omar began jumping up and down. Mal was hooting and hollering to beat all hell. And amid squeals of mirth, and with tears on their cheeks, each appointed the other to be high priest of his own madness, and together they declared themselves to be a society of discordia, for whatever that may turn out to be. Did you know that there is a million bucks hidden in the house next door? But there is no house next door? No? Then let's go build one. Marx. All things are perfect to every last flaw and bound in accord with Eris's law, HST, the Book of Advice, 1-7. Fnords, fnord, 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 fnord. Momoto, Momomoto, famous Japanese, can swallow his nose. St. Trinian's Sewing Circle, support your local police. If a quixotic Socrates studied Zen under Zorba, the Battle Hymn of the Aristocracy by Lord Omar. Verse. My brain has meditated on the spinning of the cow. It is hovering over the table where the chiefs of staff are now. 
gathered in discussion of the dropping of the bomb. Her apple corpse is strong. Chorus. Grand and gory, old discordia. Grand and gory, old discordia. Grand and gory, old discordia. Her apple corpse is strong. Verse. She was not invited to the party that they held on Limbo Peak, so she threw a golden apple instead of turned the other cheek. Oh, it cracked the holy punch bowl and it made the nectar leak. Her apple corpse is strong. Limbo Peak refers to old Limbo Peak, commonly called by the Greeks, Old Lim Peak. The tide is turning. The enemy is suffering terrible losses. General Geo A. Custer. Persons in a position to know, incorporated. On prayer. Maltu was once asked by one of his disciples if he often prayed to Eris. He replied with these words. No. We Eurasians seldom pray. It is much too dangerous. Charles Fort has listed many factual incidences of ignorant people confronted with, say, a drought, and then praying fervently, and then getting the entire village wiped out in a torrential flood. Of course I'm crazy, but that doesn't mean I'm wrong. I'm mad, but I'm not ill. Werewolf Bridge, Robert Anton Wilson. 14. Wipe thine ass with what is written, and grin like a ninny at what is spoken. Take thine refuge with thine wine in the nothing behind everything, as you hurry along the path. The Purple Sage, HBT, The Book of Predications, Chapter 19. It is my firm belief that it is a mistake to hold firm beliefs. Heaven is down, hell is up. This is proven by the fact that the planets and stars are orderly in their movements. While down on Earth we come close to the primal chaos, there are four other proofs, but I forgot them. Josh the Dill, King Kong Cabal. Ignotum per Ignotius. The meaning of this is unknown. Look, comrade, you do your own thing and I'll do mine. The Imperial Government of Norton the First promises to pay the holder hereof of the sum of fifty cents in the year 1880 with interest at seven per cent per annum from date. The principal and interest to be convertible at the option of the holder. At, nature, at maturity into 20 years, 7% bonds or payable in gold coin, given under our royal hand and seal. This 295th day of August, 1844. Norton I. The classical Greeks were not influenced by the classical Greeks. Do not circulate. What we know about Eris. Not much. The Romans left the likeness of her for posterity. She was shown as a grotesque woman with a pale and ghastly look. Her garment is ripped and torn, and as concealing a dagger in her bosom. Actually, most women look pale and ghastly when concealing a chilly dagger in their bosoms. Her genealogy is from the Greeks and is utterly confused. Either she was the twin of Ares and the daughter of Zeus and Hera, or she was the daughter of Nyx, goddess of night, who was either the daughter of or wife of Chaos or both. And Nix's brother, Erebus, and whose brothers and sisters include death, doom, mockery, misery, and friendship. And that she begat forgetfulness, quarrels, lies, and a bunch of gods and goddesses like that. One day Mal too consulted his pineal gland and asked Eris if she really created all of these terrible things. She told him that she had always liked the old Greeks, but that they cannot be trusted with historic matters. They were, she added, victims of indigestion, you know. Suffice it to say that Eris is not hateful or malicious, but she is mischievous and does get a little bitchy at times. The pineal gland is where each and every one of us can talk to Eris. If you have trouble activating your pineal, then try the appendix which does almost as well. Reference Dogma 1, Metaphysics number 3, The Indoctrine of the Pineal Gland. The Inside Story, The Law of Fives. The Law of Fives is one of the oldest Eurasian mysteries. It was first revealed to good Lord Omar and is one of the great contributions to come from the hidden temple of the happy Jesus. POEE subscribes to the Law of Fives of Omar's sect, and POEE also recognizes the Holy 23, 2 plus 3 equals 5, that is incorporated by Episcopos Dr. Mordecai Malignatius, KNS, into his Discordian sect, the ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria. The Law of Five states simply that 
all things happen in fives, or are divisible by or are multiples of five, or are somehow directly or indirectly appropriate to five. The law of fives is never wrong. In the Eurasian archives is an old memo from Omar to Mal II. I find the law of fives to be more and more manifest the harder I look. Please do not use this document. The Nagus of Upper Burma say that the sun shines by day because, being a woman, it is afraid to venture out by night. You will find that the state is the kind of organization which, though it does big things badly, does small things badly too, by John Kenneth Galbraith. Kalisti, The Myth of the Apple of Discord it seems that Zeus was preparing a wedding banquet for Peleus and Thetis, and did not want to invite Eris because of her reputation as a troublemaker. This made Eris angry, and so she fashioned an apple of pure gold, and inscribed upon it, Callisti, to the prettiest one. And on the day of the fete, she rolled it into the banquet hall, and then left to be alone and joyously partake of a hot dog. Now. Three of the invited goddesses, Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite, each immediately claimed it to belong to herself because of the inscription, and they started fighting, and they started throwing punches all over the place and everything. Finally, Zeus calmed things down and declared that an arbitrator must be selected, which was a reasonable suggestion, and all agreed. He sent them to a shepherd of Troy, whose name was Paris because his mother had had a lot of gall and married a Frenchman. But each of the sneaky goddesses tried to outwit the others by going early and offering a bribe to Paris. Athena offered him heroic war victories, Hera offered him great wealth, and Aphrodite offered him the most beautiful woman on earth. Being a healthy young Trojan lad, Paris promptly accepted Aphrodite's bribe, and she got the apple, and he got screwed. As she had promised, she maneuvered earthly happenings so that Paris could have Helen, the Helen. Then living with her husband Menelaus, king of Sparta. Anyway, everyone knows that the Trojan War followed when Sparta demanded the, their queen back and that the Trojan War is said to be the first war among men. And so we suffer because of the original snub, and so a Discordian is to partake of no hot dog buns. Do you believe that? This is called the doctrine of the original snub. There is historic disagreement concerning whether this apple was of metallic gold or Acapulco. Actually, there were five goddesses, but the Greeks did not know of the Law of Fives. Remember, King Kong died for your sins. Ho Chi Zen is King Kong. Number five, an age of confusion, or an ancient age, is one in which history as we know it begins to unfold, in which whatever is coming emerges in corporal form, more or less, and such times are ages of balanced unbalance or unbalanced balance. Six, an age of bureaucracy is an imperial age in which things mature in which confusion becomes entrenched and during which balanced balance or stagnation is attained. 7. An age of disorder or an aftermath is an apocalyptic period of transition back to chaos through the screen of oblivion into which the age passeth finally. There are ages of unbalanced unbalance. HBT, the Book of Uterus, Chapter 3. Do you remember? 1. Polite children will always remember that a church is the blank of blank. North Eurasian Hymn by Rev. Dr. Mungo Jerry Grindlebone, K.O.B. Episcopos, the Rayville Apple Panthers. Onward Christian soldiers, onward Buddhist priests, onward fruits of Islam, fight till you're deceased. Fight your little battles, join the thickest fray for the greater glory of Discordia, Yay, 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 Bluffed. Mr. Momoto, famous Japanese who can swallow his nose, has been exposed. It was recently revealed that it was Mr. Momoto's brother who has been doing all this nose swallowing. Hutiwelt Morgastas Sanan System, Abbey of the Barbarous Relic. Official Proclamation, ODD number 3B-4 I 18A FT 3135 POEE Disorganizational Matrix 5. The House of Apostles of Eris for the Aristocracy and the Kabbalabilia A. The Five Apostles of Eris B. The Golden Apple Corpse KSC C. Episcopuses of the Discordian Society D. POEE Cabal Priests 
e. Saints, Eresians, Avatars, and like personages. 4. The House of the Rising Podge, for the Disciples of Discordia. a. Office of My High Reverence, the Polyfather. b. Council of P.O.E.E. Priests. c. The Legion of Dynamic Discord. d. Aristic Avatars. and e. Anaristic Avatars. Note. A, B, and C are P-O-E-E -E proper, while D and E are P-O-E-E -E improper. 3. The House of the Rising Hodge For the Bureaucracy A. The Bureau of Eresian Archives B. The Bureau of the P-O-E-E -E Epistolary and the Division of Dogmas C. The Bureau of Symbols, Emblems, Certificates, and such D. The Bureau of Aristic Affairs and the Administry of the Unenlightened Aristic Horde E. The Bureau of Anaristic Affairs and the Administry of the Orders of Discordia. 2. The House of the Rising Collapse. For the encouragement of liberation of freedom and or the discouragement of the immanitizing of the eschaton. A. The Breeze of Wisdom and or the Wind of Insanity. B. The Breeze of Integrity and or the Wind of Arrogance. C. The Breeze of Beauty and or the Wind of Outrages. D. The breeze of love and or the wind of bombast. F. The breeze of laughter and or the wind of bullshit. 1. The outhouse. For what is left over? A. Miscellaneous avatars. B. The fifth column. C. P. O. E. E. equals popes everywhere. D. Drawer O for out of file. E. Lost documents and forgotten truths. This is an official. P.O.E.E. -E, Head Temple, San Francisco, House of the Rising Podge, Bureau of the P.O.E.E. -E, Epistolary. An ice cream project product. Exclusive, the five-fingered hand of Eris. The official symbol of P.O.E.E. -E is here illustrated. It may be this, or any similar device to represent two opposing arrows converging into a common point. It may be vertical, horizontal, or else such, and it may be elaborated or simplified as desired. The esoteric name for the symbol is the five-fingered hand of Eris, commonly shortened to the hand. Note, in the lore of Western magic, the upside-down moon symbol is taken to symbolize horns, especially the horns of Satan, or of diabolical beasties. The five-fingered hand of Eris, however, is not intended to be taken as satanic, for the horns are supported by another set of inverted horns. Or maybe it is walrus tusks. I don't know what is to tell the truth. Surrealism aims at the total transformation of the mind and all that resembles it. By Brenton. P-O-E-E. -E. P-O-E-E, -E, pronounced P-O-E-E, -E, is an acronym for the paratheo Metamystichood of Eris Esoteric. The first part can be taken to mean equivalent deity reversing beyond mystique. We are not really esoteric, it's just that b nobody pays much attention to us. My High Reverence Malacalypse the Younger, ABDDKSC, is the High Priest of POEE, -E, and POEE -E is grounded in his episcopatic revelations of the Goddess. He is called the Omnibenevolent Polyfather of Virginity in Gold. The POEE -E Head Temple is the Joshua Norton Cabal of the Discordian Society, which is located in Maltu's pineal gland, and can be found by temporarily and spatially locating the rest of Maltu. POEE -E has no treasury, no bylaws, no articles, no guides, save Maltu's pineal gland, and has only one scruple, which Maltu keeps on his keychain. POEE -E has not registered, incorporated, or otherwise chartered with the state, and so the state does not recognize POEE -E or POEE -E ordinations, which is only fair, because POEE -E does not recognize the state. POEE -E has five degrees. Five. There is the neophyte, or legionnaire, disciple, the legionnaire deacon, who is catching on, an ordained POEE -E priest, priestess, or a chaplain, the high priest, the polyfather, and POEE -E Pope. POEE -E Legionnaire Disciples are authorized to initiate others as Discordians, Society Legionnaires. Priests appoint their own deacons. The Polyfather ordains priests. I don't know about the Popes. This book is a mirror. When a monkey looks in, no apostle looks out. 6-70 Official Discordian Society, Hail Eris. Application for Membership. 
in the Eurasian movement of the Discordian society. One, today's date, yesterday's date. Two, purpose of this application, membership in A, Legion of Dynamic Discord, B, POEE, C, Bavarian Illuminati, D, all of the above, E, none of the above, F, other, be specific. Three, name, holy name, and address. If temporary, also give an address from which mail can be forwarded. Four, description, born, yes or no, eyes, two, other, height, fluid ounces, last time you had a haircut, reason, race, horse or human, IQ, 150-200 or 200-250 or 250-300 or over 300. Five, history, education, highest grade completed, one, two, three, four, five, six, over sixth, professional, on other on another ream of paper list every job since 1937 from which you have been fired medical on a separate sheet labeled confidential list all major psychotic episodes experienced within the last 24 hours 6 sneaky questions to establish personality traits I would rather a live in an outhouse B play in a rock group C eat caterpillars I wear obscene tattoos because I have seized raping little children yes no reason 7. Self-portrait. Sender waiting. Answer by wire. Lick here. You may be one of the lucky 25. By Reverend Mungo. For office use only. ACC. REG. Burned. P.O.E.E. -E and its priests. If you like Eurasianism, as it is presented according to Mal II, then you may wish to form your own P.O.E.E. -E cabal as a P.O.E.E. -E priest, and you can go do a bunch of P.O.E.E. -E priestly things. A POEE -E cabal is exactly what you think it is. The high priest makes no demands on his priests, though he does rather expect good will of them. The office of the polyfather is the point not to teach. Once in a while, he even listens. Should you find that your own revelations of the goddess become substantially different than the revelations of Mal II, then perhaps the goddess has plans for you as an episcopos, and you might consider creating your own sect from scratch, unhindered. Episcopuses are not competing with each other, and they are all POEE -E priests anyway, as soon as I locate them. The point is that Episcopos are developing separate paths to the Eurasian mountain top. See the section Discordian Society. Caution inserts. Ordination as a POEE -E priest. There are no particular qualifications for ordination because if you want to be a POEE -E priest, then you must undoubtedly qualify. Who could possibly know better than you whether or not you should be ordained? An ordained POEE priest or priestess is defined as one who holds an ordination certif certificate from the office of the polyfather. Seek into the cow if thou wouldst be wise, and find ye delight in her great surprise. Look into the cow if thou wantest to know what is in a cow and why it ain't so. HBT, the Book of Advice, 1 1. World Council of Churches Boutique. Note to POEE -E priests. The Polyfather wishes to remind all Eurasians the POEE -E was conceived not as a commercial enterprise, and that you are requested to keep your cool when seeking funds for POEE -E cabals, or whom spent spreading the POE word via the marketplace. Hey, where's the pixes? Mumble, mumble, piss on this. The hidden stone ripens fast, then laid bare like a turnip can easily be cut out at last, but even then the danger isn't past. That man lives best who's fain to live half mad, half sane. Flemish poet Jan van Stijvoort, 1524. The Eurasian Affirmation Before the goddess Eris, I, name or holy name, do herewith declare myself a POEE -E brother of the Legion of Dynamic Discord. Hail, 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 Eris, 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 all hail Discordia. The presiding POE official, if any, responds. All hail Discordia. Don't phone. 00026. Find the goddess Eris within the pineal gland. POE. -E. Common sense is what tells you that the world is flat. To diverse gods do mortals bow. Holy cow and holy cow. Reverend. Dr. Grindlebone, Monroe Cabal. This is Saint Gullick. He is the messenger of the goddess. 
a different age from ours called him Hermes. Many people called him by many names. He is a roach. Legion of Dynamic Discord. Hark! Recognize that the Discordian Society doth hereby certify as a legionnaire glory to we children of Eris, presented under the auspices of Our Lady of Discord, Eris by the House of the Apostles of Eris. Office of my High Reverence, Malaclips the Younger, KSC, OPOVIG, Highest Priest, POEE. -E. General License How to Start a POEE -E Cabal Without Messing Around with the Polyfather. If you cannot find the Polyfather, or having found him, don't want anything to do with him, you are still authorized to form your own POEE -E cabal and do priestly things, using the Principia Discordia as a guide. Your official rank will be POEE -E chaplain for the Legion of Dynamic Discord, which is exactly the same as a POEE -E priest, except that you don't have an ordination certificate. The words you are now reading are your ordination. How to become a POEE -E chaplain 1. Write the Eresian affirmation in five copies. 2. Sign and nose print each copy. 3. Send one to the President of the United States. 4. Send one to the California State Bureau of Furniture and Bedding, 1021 D Street, Sacramento, CA, California, 94814. 5. Nail one to a telephone pole, hide one, and burn the other. Then consult your pineal gland. General License was Sergeant Pepper's commander. Old POEE -E slogan, when in doubt, fuck it. When not in doubt, get in doubt. Trip 5. The POEE -E Baptismal Rite. This mystery rite is not required for initiation, but is offered by many POEE -E priests to proselytes who desire a formal ceremony. 1. The priest and four brothers are arranged in a pentagon with the initiate in the center facing the priest. If possible, the brothers on the immediate right and left of the priest should be deacons. If the initiate must be totally naked to demonstrate that he is truly a human being and not something else in disguise like a cabbage or something. 2. All persons in the audience and the pentagon ex excepting the priest assume a squatting position and return to a standing position. This is repeated four more times. This dance is symbolic of the humility of we Eresians. 3. The priest begins. I, complete holy name with mystical titles and degrees, designations, offices, etc., ordained priest of the Paratheo and Mysticut of Eris Esoteric, with the authority invested at me by the high priest of it, office of the Polyfather, the house of the rising Podge, POEE, -E, head temple, do herewith require of ye, one, are ye a human being and not a cabbage or something? The initiate answers yes. Two, that's too bad. Do ye wish to better thyself? The initiate answers yes. 3. How stupid. Are ye willing to become philosophically illuminized? He answers yes. 4. Very funny. Will ye dedicate yourself to the holy Eresian movement? The initiate answers probably. Return to restricted room. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. 5. Then swear ye the following after me. The priest here leads the initiate in a recital of the Eresian affirmation. The priest continues, Then I do here proclaim ye, POEE -E disciple, name, legionnaire of the Legion of Dynamic Discord, Hail Eris, Hail Hail, Hail Yes. <laughs> 4. All present rejoice grandly. The new brother opens a large jug of wine and offers it to all who are present. 5. The ceremony generally degenerates. Do not pull on yellow tip. Mord says that Omar says that we are all unicorns anyway. Answers. 1. Harry Houdini. 2. Swing music. 3. Pretzels. 4. 8 months. 5. Testy Colbert. 6. It protrudes. 7. No vocal cords. Discarded. 3. And though Omar did bid of the collector of garbage, in words that were both sweet and bitter, to surrender back in the cigar box containing the cards designated by the angel as the honest book of truth, the collector was to him as one who might be smitten, deaf, saying only, "Gainst the rules, you know. HBT, the Book of Explanations, Chapter 2. The POEE -E Mystery Oath. G3400-50 DMTS19. The initiate swears the following. Flying baby shit. Brothers of the ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria sect may wish to substitute the German Fliegend 
Kinder cheeses. Or perhaps Weichsni Kwiat Wittadza, which is Iwij Blumenkraft in Polish. Foreign. The recent expose that Mr. Momoto, famous Japanese who can swallow his nose, cannot swallow his nose, but his brother can, has been exposed. It is Mr. Momoto who can swallow his nose. He swallowed his brother in the summer of 1944. Corrections to last week's copy. Johnny Sample is offensive cornerback of the New York Jets, not fullback as stated. Bobby Tolan's name is not Randy, but Mud. All power to the people, and ban the fucking bomb. The statement is false, courtesy of POEE. No two equals are the same. The Discordian Society. The Discordian Society has no definition. I sometimes think of it as a disorganization of Eris freaks. It has been called a guerrilla mind theater, Episcopos random factor, director of purges of our people's underworld movement sect in Larchmont prefers the world's greatest association of whatever it is that we are. Lady Mal thinks of it as a renaissance think tank. Fang the unwashed, WKC, won't say. You can think of it any way you like. An episcopos of the Discordian Society is one who prefers total autonomy and creates his own Discordian sect as the goddess directs him. He speaks for himself and for those that say that they like what he says. The Legion of Dynamic Discord, a Discordian Society legionnaire, is one who prefers not to create his own sect. If you want in on the Discordian Society, then declare yourself what you wish. Do what you like and tell us about it, or if you prefer, don't. There are no rules anywhere. The goddess prevails. Some episcopuses have a one-man cabal, some work together, some never do explain. When I get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide, where I stop and I turn and I go for a ride. Then I get to the bottom and I see you again. Helter Skelter. John Lennon. Everybody I know who is right always agrees with me. Reverend Lady Mal. The Golden Apple Corpse. The Golden Apple Corpse is an honorary position for the keepers of the sacred cow, so that they can put KSC after their names. It says little, does less, means nothing. Travel agent. Not to be confused with Apple Corpse Limited of those four singers. We thought of it first. The numeral five sign used by old Roman Discordians, Illuminatus Churchill, and innocent hippies everywhere. Sacred Document of the Frogs, Old Eurasian Poem. Seventy-three days hath chaos, discord, confusion, bureaucracy, and aftermath. Perpetual date converter from Gregorian to POEE calendar. Seasons. 1. Chaos. Patron Apostle Hung Mung. 2. Discord. Patron Apostle Dr. Van Van Mojo. 3. Confusion. Patron Apostle Sri Siadasti. 4. Bureaucracy. Patron Apostle Zarathud. 5. The Aftermath. Patron Apostle the Elder Malacalypse. Days of the Week. 1. Sweet Morn. 2. Boom Tine. 3. Punch in Day. 4. Prickle Prickle. 5. Setting Orange. The days of the week are named from the five basic elements. Sweet, Boom, Pungent, Prickle, and Orange. Holy Days. Apostle Holy Days. Mung Day, Mojo Day, Sia Day, Zara Day, and Mala Day. Each occurs on the fifth day of the season. B. Season Holy Days. 1. K.O. Flux, 2. Disco Flux, 3. Confu Flux, 4. Bureau Flux, 5. A Flux. Each occurs on the 50th day of the season. And C. St. Tibbs Day occurs once every four years, 1 plus 4 equals 5, and is inserted between the 59th and 60th days of the season of chaos. Holy Names. Discordians have a tradition of assuming holy names. This is not unique with Eurasianism, of course. I suppose that Pope Paul is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Six, and also titles of mystical import. Will whoever stole Brother Reverend Magoon's pornography please return it? The Pope Card. 
The bearer of this card is a genuine and authorized pope, so please treat him right. Good forever. Genuine and authorized by the House of Apostles of Eris. Every man, woman, and child on this earth is a genuine and authorized pope. Reproduce and distribute these cards freely. P.O.E.E. -E, Head Temple, San Francisco. A pope equals someone who is not under the authority of the authorities. Thou art whole. Okay? For your enlightenment. The Parable of the Bitter Tea by Rev. Dr. Hippocrates Magoon, P.P. P.O.E.E. -E, Priest, Okinawa Cabal. When Hypoc was through meditating with St. Gulick, he went there into the kitchen where he busied himself with preparing the feast, and in his endeavor he found that there was some old tea in a pan left standing from the night before. When he had in his weakness forgot about its making and had let it sit steeping for twenty-four hours, it was dark and murky, and it was Hypoc's intention to use this old tea by diluting it with water and again in his weakness, chose without further consideration and plunged into the physical labor of the preparations. It was then when, deeply immersed in the pleasure of that trip, he had a sudden, clear voice in his head saying, It is bitter tea that involves you so. Hypoc heard the voice, but the struggle inside, the in inside tens intensified, and the pattern previously established with a physical laboring, and the muscle messages coordinated and unified, or perhaps coded, continued to exert their influence, and Hypoc succumbed to the pressure and denied the voice. And again he plunged into the physical orgy and completed the task, and lo, as the voice had predicted, the tea was bitter. The five laws have root in awareness. Che Fung. Ezra Pound, Canto 85. The Hell Law says that Hell is reserved exclusively for them that believe in it. Further, the lowest ring in Hell is reserved for them that believe in it on the supposition that they'll go there if they don't. HBT, The Gospel According to Fred, 3.1. A Sermon on Ethics and Love One day Maltu asked the messenger spirit, Saint Gulick, to approach the goddess and request her presence for some desperate advice. Shortly afterwards, the radio came on by itself, and in a thorough female voice said, Yes. Oh, Eris, blessed mother of man, queen of chaos, daughter of discord, concubine of confusion, oh, exquisite lady, I beseech you to lift a heavy burden from my heart. What, brother, what bothers you, Mal? You don't sound well. I am filled with fear and tormented with terrible visions of pain. Everywhere people are hurting one another. The planet is rampant with injustices. Whole societies plunder groups of their own people. Mothers imprison sons. Children perish while brothers war. Oh, woe! What is the matter with that, if it is what you want to do? But nobody wants it. Everybody hates it. Oh, well then, stop. At which moment she turned herself into an aspirin commercial and left the polyfather stranded alone with his species. Sinister Dexter has a broken spirometer. Chapter 5 The Pioneers The Five Apostles of Eris and Who They Be 1. Hung Meng, a sage of ancient China and official Discordian missionary to the heathen Chinese, he who originally devised the sacred cow, patron of the season of the chaos. Holy Day, January 5th. 2. Dr. Van Van Mojo, a head doctor of Deep Africa and maker of fine dolls, DHV, doctor of hoodoo and vexes. From the greater metropolitan Yorba, Linda, Jesus Will, Savior, Bod, Home Study Bible School, and FIHGWP, fellow of the intergalactic Haitian guerrillas for world peace. Patron of the season of Discord, Holy Day, March 19th. Note, the regions of the Laughing Christ sect are of the silly contention that Dr. Mojo is an imposter and that Petamunzo, Linga Wanda, oh, sorry, Linga Nanda, is the true second apostle. Lord Omar claims that Dr. Mojo heaps hatred and curses upon Petamunzo, who sends only love vibrations in return. But we of the POEE sect know that Padamunzo is the real imposter, and that those vibrations of his are actually an attempt to subvert Dr. Mojo's rightful apostolic authority by shaking him all out of his wits. 3. Sri Siadasti Siada Vaktavaya 
Sia dasti, sia nasti, sia dasti kavakta vayaska, sia dasti, sia nasti, sia davata vayaska, sia dasti, sia nasti, sia davakta vayaska, commonly called just Sri Sia dasti. His name is Sanskrit and means all affirmations are true in some sense, false in some sense, meaningless in some sense, true and false in some sense, true and meaningless in some sense, false and meaningless in some sense, and true and false and meaningless in some sense. He is an Indian pundit and prince, born of the Peyotal tribe, son of chief sunflower seed, and the squall, Mary Jane, patron to psychedelic type discordians, patron of the season of confusion. Holy Day, Mar May 31st. Note Sri Siadasti should not be confused with Blessed Saint Gulik, the stoned, who is not the same person but is the same apostle. 4. Zarathud, the incorrigible, sometimes called Zarathud the staunch, a hard nosed hermit of medieval Europe and chaos fee, Bible banger, dubbed offender of the faith, discovered by the, f discovered the five commandments, patron of of the season of bureaucracy. Holy Day, August 12th. And 5. The Elder Malaclips, a wandering wise man of ancient Mediterranea, Medterra, or Middle Earth, who followed a five-pointed star through the alleys of Rome, Damascus, Baghdad, Jerusalem, Mecca, and Cairo, bearing a sign that seemed to read Doom. This is a misunderstanding. The sign actually read Dumb. Mal 1 is a non-profit, patron and namesake of Mal 2, patron on the season of the aftermath. Holy Day, October 24th. All statements are true in some sense, false in some sense, meaningless in some sense, true and false in some sense, true and meaningless in some sense, false and meaningless in some sense, and true and false and meaningless in some sense. A public service clarification by the Sri Siadasti School of Spiritual Wisdom will met. The teachings of, of the Sri Siadasti school of spiritual wisdom are true in some sense, false in some sense, meaningless in some sense, true and false in some sense, true and meaningless in some sense, false and meaningless in some sense, and true and false and meaningless in some sense. Petamunzo Lingananda School of Higher Spiritual Wisdom, Skaki. Hey man, great. I feel goofy the way my old man looks when he's drunk. The Honest Book of the Truth, being a Bible of the Eurasian Movement, and how it was revealed to Episcopus Lord Omar Kayam Ravenhurst, KSC, Bull Goose of Limbo, and Master Pastor of the Church Invisible of the Laughing Christ, Hidden Temple of the Happy Jesus, Laughing Buddha Jesus, LBJ Ranch. From the Honest Book of Truth, the Book of Explanations, Chapter 1. 1. There came one day to Lord Omar, Bull Goose of Limbo, a messenger of Our Lady who told him of a sacred mound wherein was buried an honest book. 2. And the angel of Eris bade of the Lord, Go ye hence and dig the truth, that ye may come to know it, and knowing it, spread it, and spreading it, wallow it, wallow in it, and wallowing in it, lie in it, and lying in the truth. Become a poet of the word and a sayer of sayings, and inspiration to all men and ascribe to the gods. 3. So Omar went forth to the sacred mound, which was to the east of Nullah, and thereupon he worked digging in the sand for five days and five nights, but found no book. 4. At the end of five days and five nights of digging, it came to pass that Omar was exhausted, so he put his shovel to one side and bedded himself down on the sand, using a pillow, a golden chest he had uncovered on the first day of his labors. 5. Omar slept. 6. On the fifth day of his sleeping, Lord Omar fell into a trance, and there came to him in the trance a dream. And there came to him in the dream a messenger of Our Lady who told him of a sacred grove wherein was hidden a golden chest. 7. And the angel of Eris bade of the Lord, Go ye hence and lift the stash, that ye may come to own it, and owning it, share it, and sharing it, love in it, and loving in it, dwell in it, and dwelling in it, in the stash, become a poet of the word and a sayer of sayings, an inspiration to all men and a scribe to the gods. 8. But Omar lamented, saying unto the angel, What is this shit, man? 
What care I for the word and sayings? What care I for the inspiration of all men? Wherein does it profit a man to be a scribe to the gods when the scribes of the governments do nothing, yet are paid better wages? 9. And lo, the angel waxed in anger, and Omar was stricken to the ground by an invisible hand, and did not arise for five days and five nights. 10. And it came to pass that on the fifth night he dreamt, and in, the, in his dream he had a vision. And in this vision there came unto him a messenger of Our Lady, who entrusted to him a Rigoletto cigar box, containing many filing cards, some of them in packs with rubber bands around, and upon these cards were sometimes written verses, while upon others nothing was written. 11. Thereupon the angel commanded the Lord, Take ye this honest book of truth to thine bosom, and cherish it. Carry it forth into the land, and lay it before kings of nations, and collectors of garbage. Preach from it unto the righteous, that they may renounce their ways and repent. Conventional Chaos. Do not bend. Grayface. In the year 1166 BC, a malcontented hunchbrain by the name of Grayface got it into his head that the universe was humorless as he, and he began to teach that play was sinful because it contradicted the ways of serious order. Look at all the order about you, he said, and from that he deluded honest men to believe that reality was a straitjacket affair and not the happy romance as men had known it. It is not presently understood why men were so gullible at this particular time, for absolutely no one thought to observe all the disorder around them and conclude just the opposite. But anyway, Greyface and his followers took the game of playing at life more seriously than they took life itself and were known even to destroy other living beings whose ways of life differed from their own. The unfortunate result of this is that mankind has since been suffering from a psychological and spiritual imbalance. Imbalance caused by frustration, and, fr and frustration causes fear, and fear makes a bad trip. Man has been on a bad trip for a long time now. It is called the curse of the gray face. Bullshit makes the flowers grow, and that's beautiful. Climb into the cow with a friend or two, and follow the way it carries you, over the waves in whatever you do. HBT, the Book of Advice, 1-3. For the mandala... No two elements interlock, but all five do interlock. Meanwhile, at the Chinese laundromat, Apostle Hung Meng, Dogma 1, Metaphysics number 2, Cosmology, the Book of Uterus, from the Honest Book of Truth, revealed to Lord Omar. 1. Before the beginning was the non-existent cow, balanced in oblivion by the perfect counter-push-pull of the Hodge and the Podge. 2. Whereupon, by an act of happenstance, the Hodge began gradually to overpower the Podge, and the primal chaos thereby came to be. 3. So in the beginning was the primal chaos, balanced on the edge of oblivion by the perfect counter-pull push of the, ho the Podge and the Hodge. 4. Whereupon, by the law of negative reversal, the Podge swiftly underpowered the Hodge, and everything broke loose. 5. And therein emerged the active force of discord, the subtle manifestation of the non-existent cow, to guide everything along the path back to oblivion, that it might not become lost among precepts of order in the region of thud. 6. For as much as it was active, the force of discord entered the state of confusion, wherein it copulated with the queen and begat Eris, our lady of discord and gross manifestation of the non-existent cow. 7. And under Eris, confusion became established, and was hence called bureaucracy. Well, while over bureaucracy, Eris became established, and was hence called discordia. 8. By the by, it came to pass that the establishment of bureaucracy perished in a paper shortage. 9. Thus it was, in accord with the law of laws. 10. During and after the fall of the establishment of bureaucracy was the aftermath, an age of disorder, in which calculation, complaints, oh, computations, excuse me, and reckonings were put away by the children of Eris, in acceptance and preparation for return to oblivion to be followed by a repetition of the universal absurdity. Moreover, of itself the coming of aftermath was it a resurrection of the freedom-flowing chaos. Hail, Eris! 11. Herein was set into motion the heuristic pattern, which would repeat itself five times over seventy-three times, after which nothing would happen. 
This doctrine should not be confused with Dogma 3, History Number 6, Historic Cycles, which states that the social progress occurs in five cycles. The first three, the tricycle, of which are thesis, antithesis, and parenthesis, and the last two, the bicycle, of which are consternation and moral warptitude. The law of negative reversal states that if something does not happen, then the exact opposite will happen, only in exactly the opposite manner from that in which it did not happen. Note. It is from this text from the Book of Uterus that P.O.E.E. has based its Eurasian calendar with the year divided into five seasons of 73 days each. Each of the five apostles of Eris has patronage over one season. A chart of the season's patrons, days of the week, holy days, and the perpetual Gregorian converter is included in this edition of the Principia. Dull but sincere filler. And behold, thusly was the law formulated. Imposition of order equals escalation of disorder. HPT, the Gospel according to Fred, 1-6. The five orders of Discordia, them. General Pandemonium commanding. The seeds of the orders of Discordia were planted by Greyface into his early disciples. They formed the skeleton of the anaristic movement, which overemphasizes the principle of order and is antagonistic to the necessary complement the principle of disorder. The orders are composed of persons, all hung up on authority, security, and control. Example, they are blinded by the anaristic illusion. They do not know that they belong to orders of discordia, but we know. 1. The military order of the Knights of the Five-Sided Temple. This is for all of the soldiers and bureaucrats of the world. 2. The political order of the party for war on evil. This is reserved for lawmakers, censors, and like ilk. 3. The academic order of the Hemlock Fellowship. They commonly inhabit schools and universities and dominate many of them. 4. The social order of the Citizens Committee for Concerned Citizens. This is mostly a grassroots version of the more professional military, political, academic, and sacred orders. And 5. The sacred order of the Defamation League. Not much is known about the DL, but they are very ancient and quite possibly were founded by Greyface himself. It is known that they now have absolute domination over all organized churches in the world. It is also believed that they have been costuming cabbages and passing them off as human beings. Don't let them emanatize the eschaton. A person belonging to one or more order is just as likely to carry a flag of the counter-establishment as the flag of the establishment, just as long as it is a flag. Hip, two, three, four. Hip, two, three, four. Go to your left, right, military. The following is quoted from Bergen Evans on Norbert Wiener, nuclear physicist. The second concept Wiener has to establish is that of entropy. Probability is a mathematical concept coming from statistics. Entropy comes from physics. It is the assertion, established logically and experimentally, that the universe, by its nature, is running down, moving towards a state of inert uniformity, devoid of form, matter, hierarchy, or differentiation. That is, in any given situation, less organization, more chaos, is overwhelmingly more probable than tighter organizations or more order. The tendency for entropy to increase in isolated systems is expressed in the second law of thermodynamics, perhaps the most pessimistic and amoral formulation in all human thought. It applies, however, to a closed system to something that is an isolated whole, not just a part. Within such systems there may be parts which draw their energy from the whole, that are moving at least temporarily, in the opposite direction. In them order is increasing and chaos is diminishing. The whirlpools that swirl in a direction opposed to the main current are called enclaves, and one of them is life, especially human life, which is a universe moving inexorably towards chaos, moves towards increased order. If the telephone rings today, water it. Reverend Thomas Gnostic, New York City Cabal. Personal. Planetary PI, which I discovered is... 61. It's a time-energy relationship existing between sun and inner plants, and I use it in arriving at many facts unknown to science. For example, multiply newt Earth's circumference 24,902.20656 by 61, and you get the distance of Moon's orbit around the Earth. This is slightly less than actual distance because we have not yet considered Earth's atmosphere. So be it. Christopher Garth Evanston. I should have been a plumber. Albert Einstein. 
Grasshopper Always Wrong in Argument with Chicken. Book of Chan, compiled by OPU Sect. Zarathud's Enlightenment. Before he became a hermit, Zarathud was a young priest and took great delight in making fools of his opponents in front of his followers. One day, Zarathud took his students to a pleasant pasture, and there he confronted the sacred cow while she was contentedly grazing. Tell me, you dumb beast, demanded the priest in his commanding voice, why don't you do something worthwhile? Why, what is your purpose in life, anyway? Munching the tasty grass, the sacred cow replied, Moo! Upon hearing this, absolutely nobody was enlightened, primarily because nobody could understand Chinese. Mu is the Chinese ideogram for nothing. Tao Fa Zu Dan. Words of wisdom. Find peace with a contented cow. The sacred cow must. The sacred cow is the key to illumination. Devised by the apostle Hung Meng in ancient China, it was modified and popularized by the Taoists, and is sometimes called the Yin Yang. The sacred cow is not the Yin Yang of the Taoists. It is the hodgepodge of the Eurasians. And instead of a, a podge spot on the, on the hodge side, it has a pentagon which symbolizes the anaristic principle. And instead of a hodge spot on the podge side, it depicts the golden apple of Discordia to symbolize the aristic principle. The sacred cow symbolizes absolutely everything anyone need ever know about absolutely anything and more. It even symbolizes everything not worth knowing, depicted by the empty space surrounding the hodgepodge. Here follows some psychometaphysics. If you are not hot for philosophy, best just skip it. The anaristic principle is that of apparent order. The heuristic principle is that of apparent disorder. Both order and disorder are man-made concepts and are artificial divisions of pure chaos, which is a level deeper than is the level of distinction making. With our concept making apparatus called mind, we look at reality through the ideas about reality, which our cultures give us. The ideas about reality are mistakenly labeled reality, and unenlightened people are forever perplexed by the fact that other people, especially other cultures, see reality differently. It is only the ideas about reality which differ. Real, capital T, true, reality is a level deeper than is the level of concept. We look at the world through windows on which have been drawn grids, concepts. Different philosophies use different grids. A culture is a group of people. With rather similar grids, uh, through, the, through a window we view chaos and relate it to the points on our grid, and thereby understand it. The order is in the grid. That is the anaristic principle. Western philosophy is traditionally concerned with contrasting one grid with another grid, and amending grids in hopes of finding a perfect one that will account for all reality and will, hence, say unenlightened Westerners, be true. This is illusory. It is what we Eurasians call the anaristic illusion. Some grids can be more useful than others, some more beautiful than others, some more pleasant than others, etc., but none can be more true than any other. Disorder is simply unrelated information viewed through some particular grid. But like relation, no relation is a concept. Male like female is an idea about sex. To say that maleness is absence of femaleness or vice versa is a matter of definition and metaphysically arbitrary. The artificial concept of no relation is the heuristic illusion. The point is that little t, truth, is a matter of definition rel relative to the grid one is using at the moment, and that capital T, truth, metaphysical reality, is irrelevant to grids entirely. Pick a grid, and through it some chaos appears ordered, and some appears disordered. Pick another grid, and the same chaos will appear differently, ordered and disordered. Reality is the original Rorschach. Verily, so much for all that. The words of the foolish and the words of the wise are not far apart in Discordian eyes. HPT, the Book of Advice, 2-1. The podge of the sacred cow is symbolized as the golden apple of Discordia which represents the heuristic principle of disorder. The writing on it, Callisti, is Greek for to the prettiest one, and refers to an old myth about the goddess. But the Greeks had only a limited understanding of disorder, and thought it to be a negative principle. The pentagon represents the anaristic principle of order, and symbolizes the hodge. The pentagon has several references. For one, it can be taken to represent geometry, 
one of the earliest studies of formal order to reach elaborate development. For another, it specifically accords with the law of fives. The truth is five, but men have only one name for it. Patamanzo Lingananda. It also is the shape of the United States military headquarters, the Pentagon Building, a most pregnant manifestation of straight-jacket order resting on a firm foundation of chaos and constantly erupting into dazzling disorder, and this building is one of our more cherished Eurasian shrines. Also, it so happens that in times of medieval magic, the Pentagon was the generic symbol for werewolves, but this reference is not particularly intended, and it should it should be noted that the Eurasian movement does not discriminate against werewolves. Our membership roster is open to persons of all races, national origins, and hobbies. The Greek geometrician Pythagoras, however, was not a typical aneuristic personality. He was what we call an exploded aneuristic and an avatar. We call him Archangel Pythagoras. 28 day recording. 5. Hung Mung slapped his buttocks, hopped about, and shook his head, saying, I do not know. I do not know. HBT. The Book of Gooks. Chapter 1. Hodgepodge Transformer. Hot air to fifth dimensional, to the hand of Eris, to chaos, matrix, to tilt, to five tons of flax. Brunswick Shrine. In the Los Angeles suburb of Whittier, there lives a bowling alley, and within this very place, in the year of Our Lady of Discord, 3125-1959, Eris reveals herself to the Golden Apple Corpse for the first time. In honor of this incredible event, this holy place is revered as a shrine by all Eurasians. Once every five years, the Golden Apple Corpse plans a pilgrimage to Brunswick Shrine as an act of devotion, and therein to partake of no hot dog buns and ruminate a bit about it all. It is written that when the corpse returns to the shrine for the fifth time, five times over, then shall the world come to an end. Impending doom has arrived. And five days prior to this occasion, the apostle, the elder Malaklip, shall walk the streets of Whittier bearing a sign for all literates to read thereof, Doom, as a warning of forthcoming doom to all men impending. And he shall signal this event by seeking the poor and, and distributing to them precious mal buttons and Whittier shall be known as the region of Thud for these five days. As a public service to all mankind and civilization in general, and to us in particular, the Golden Apple Corpse has concluded that planning such a pilgrimage is sufficient, and that it is prudent to never get around to actually going. Quiet Night S.C.O. Or maybe it was 1958, I forget. Starbucks Pebbles. Which is real? Do these five pebbles really form a pentagon? Those biased by the aneuristic illusion would say yes. Those biased by the aeristic illusion would say no. Crisscross them and it is a star. An illuminated mind can see all of these, yet he does not insist that any of any one of these is really true, or that none at all is true. Stars and pentagons and disorder are all his own creation, and he may do with them as he wishes. Indeed, even so the concept of number five. The real reality is there, but ev everything you know about it is in your mind, and yours to do with as you like. Conceptualization is art, and you are the artist. Can you chart the course to C Captain Valentine's sweetheart? Convictions cause convicts. Hemlock, I never touch the stuff. When I was eight or nine years old, I acquired a split beaver magazine. You can imagine my disappointment when, upon examination of the photos with a microscope, I found that all I could see was dots. 7. Never write in pencil unless you're on a train or sick in bed. Eris contemplates for 3,125 years. Punjab is seek, seek, seek. The Paratheo and a Metamistic Code of Eris Esoteric, P-O-E-E, -E, a non-profit irreligious disorganization, Malaklix the Younger, KSU, Omni -bene Benevolent Polyfather of Virginity and Gold, High Priest, The Eurasian Movement, House of Apostles of Eris, page one of one pages, KI Official Business, Surreptious Sonus, Business, Official Discordian Document, Number if Applicable, None, The Golden Apple Corpse, House of Disciples of Discordia, the Bureaucracy, Bureau of Dogmas, Council of Episcopuses, Office of High Priesthood, Sect of the P-O-O-E-E, -E, draw zero.
Today's date, Day of the Carrot. Yesterday's date, yes. Original Cabal, Joshua Norton Cabal, San Francisco. To Reverend Rampant Pancreas, T-R-O-R-O-C-R-S-P-T-T-M, Colorado and Crustacean. Brother Ram, your acute observation that Eris spelled backwards is sire, and your inference to the effect that there is sexual symbolism here, have brought me to some observation of my own. Eris spelled four part afterwards is rise, and spelled inside out is Reese, which is a unit of money. S albeit Portuguese Brazilian and no longer in use. From this it may be concluded that Eris has usurped Eros, god of erotic love, in the eyes of those who read backwards, which obviously made Eros soar. Then she apparently embezzled the Olympian treasury and went to Brazil whereupon she opened a chain of whorehouses, which certainly would get a rise from the male population. I figure it to be this in particular because Madame reads the same forwards and backwards. And further, it is a term of great respect similar to sire. And so thank you for your insight. It may well be the clue to the mystery of just where Eris has been fucking around for 3,125 years. Five tons of flax, mal two. Not for circulation. Callisti, hail Eris, all hail Discordia. Safeguard this letter, it may be an important document. Dogma 3, history number 2, cosmogony. Which is not the same as Dogma 1, metaphysics 2, cosmology, book of uterus. In the beginning there was Void, who had two daughters. One, the smaller, was that of being, named Eris, and one, the larger, was of non-being, named Aneris. To this day, the fundamental truth that Aneris is the larger is apparent to all who compare the great number of things that do not exist with the comparatively small number of things that do exist. Eris had been born pregnant, and after 55 years, goddesses have an unusually long gestation period, longer even than elephants. Her pregnancy bore the fruits of many things. These things were composed of the five basic elements. Sweet, boom, pungent, prickle, and orange. Aneris, however, had been created sterile. When she saw Eris enjoying herself so greatly with all the existent things she had born, Aneris became jealous, and finally one day she stole some existent things and changed them into non-existent things and claimed them as her own children. This deeply hurt Eris, who felt that her sister was unjust, being so much larger anyway, to deny her her small joy. And so she made herself swell again, to bear more things, and she swore that no matter how many of her begotten that Aneris would steal, she would beget more, and in return Aneris swore that no matter how many existent things Eris brought forth, she would eventually find them and turn them into non-existent things for her own, and to this day things appear and disappear in this very manner. At first the things brought forth by Eris were in a state of chaos, and went in every which way, but by the... By the time by she began playing with them and ordered some of them just to see what would happen. Some pretty things arose from this play, and for the next five zillion years she amused herself by creating order, and so she grouped some things with others, and some groups with others, and big groups with little groups, and all combinations until she had many grand schemes which delighted her. Engrossed in establishing order, she finally one day noticed disorder, previously not apparent because everything was chaos. There were many ways in which chaos was ordered, and many ways in which it was not. Ha! she thought, here shall be a new game. And she taught order and disorder to play with each other in contest games, and to take turns amusing each other. She named the site of disorder after herself, Aristic, because being in being is anarchic, and then... In a mood of sympathy for her lonely sister, she named the other side Aneristic, which flattered Aneris and smoothed the friction a little that was between them. Now all this time, Void was somewhat disturbed. He felt unsatisfied for, the, for he had created only physical existence and physical non-existence, and had neglected the spiritual. As he contemplated this, a great quiet was caused, and he went into a state of deep sleep, which lasted for five eras. At the end of this ordeal, he begat a brother to Eris and Aneris, that of spirituality, who had no name at all. 
When the sisters heard this, they both confronted Void and pleaded that he not forget them, his firstborn. And so Void decreed thus, that this brother, having no form, was to reside with Anaris in non-being, and then to leave her, and so that he might play with order and disorder, reside with Eris in being. But Eris became filled with sorrow when she heard this, and then began to weep. Why are you despondent? demanded Void. Your new brother will have his share with you. But father, Anaris and I have been arguing, and she will take him from me when she discovers him, and cause him to return to non-being. I see, replied Void. Then I decree the following. When your brother leaves the residence of being, he shall not reside again in non-being, but shall return to me, Void, from whence he came. You girls may bicker as you wish, but my son is your brother, and we are all of myself. And so it is that we, as men, do not exist until we do. And then it is that we play with our world of existent things, and order and disorder them. And so it shall be that non-existence shall take us back from existence, and that nameless spirituality shall return to void, like a tired child home from a very wild circus. Everything is true. Everything is permissible. Hassan E. Sabah Apostle Sri Siadasti There is serenity in chaos. Seek ye the eye of the hurricane. A P.O.E.E. -E mystery rite, the Sri Siadastian chant, written in some sense by Mal Tu. Unlike a song, chants are not sung, but chanted. This particular one is much enhanced by the use of a leader to chant the Sanskrit alone, with all participants chanting in English. It also behooves one to be in a quiet frame of mind, and to be sitting in a still position, perhaps the buttercup position. It also helps if one is absolutely zonked out of his guard. Rub-a-dub-dub! O oh, hail, Eris, blessed Saint Hung Mung! Siadasti! O oh, hail, Eris, blessed Saint Mojo! Siadavak! Tavya. O oh, hail Eris, blessed Saint Zarathud. Sia Dasti, Sia Nasti. O oh, hail Eris, blessed Saint Elder Mal. Sia Dasti, Kavak Tav Yaska. O oh, hail Eris, blessed Saint Gulik. Sia Dasti, Sia Nasti, Sia Davak Tav Yaska. O oh, hail Eris, all hail Discordia. Rub a dub dub. It is then repeated indefinitely, or for the first two thousand miles, which ever come first. The Classification of Saints 1. Saint Second Class To be reserved for all human beings deserving of sainthood, example, Saint Norton the First, Emperor of the United States and Protector of Mexico, his grave near San Francisco, is an official POEE shrine. The following four categories are reserved for fictional beings, who not being actual are more capable of perfection. 2. Lance Saint. Good Saint material and definitely inspiring. Example, Saint Yosarian, Catch-22, Heller. 3. Lieutenant Saint. Excellent Goddess Saturated Saint. Example, Saint Quixote, Don Quixote Cervantes. 4. Brigadier Saint. Comparable to L Lieutenant Saint, but has an established following. Fictional or factual. Example, Saint Bokanan, Cat's Cradle, Vanagat. Five, Five Star Saint, the Five Apostles of Eris. Note, it is an old Eurasian tradition to never agree with each other about saints. Everybody understands Mickey Mouse. Few understand Herman Hesse. Only a handful understood Albert Einstein. And nobody understood Emperor Norton. Slogan of Norton Cabal, SF. Tests by doctors prove it possible to shrink. On occultism. Magicians, especially since the Gnostic and the Kabbalah influences, have sought higher consciousness through the assimilation and control of universal opposites, good and evil, positive and negative, male and female, etc. But due to the steadfast pomposity of ritualism inherited from the ancient methods of the shaman, occultists have been blinded to what is perhaps the two most important pairs of apparent or earth plane opposites, order and disorder, and serious and humorous. Magicians and their progeny, the scientists, have always taken themselves and their subject in an orderly and sober manner, thereby disregarding an essential metaphysical balance. When magicians learn to approach philosophy as a malleable art instead of an immutable truth, and learn to appreciate the absurdity of man's endeavors, then they will be able to pursue their art with a lighter heart and perhaps gain a clearer understanding of it, and therefore gain more effective magic. 
chaos is energy. This is an essential challenge to the basic concepts of all Western occult, though, and POEE is humbly pleased to offer the first major breakthrough in occultism since Solomon. Study demonology with an enemy this Sunday. C. Thomas Nostick. POEE Astrological System 1. On your next birthday, return to the place of your birth, and at precisely midnight, noting your birth time and date of observation, count all visible stars. 2. When you've done this, write to me and I'll tell you what to do next. Look for the snowflake, it has magic properties. The eminent 16th century mathematician Cardin so detested Luther that he altered Luther's birthday to give him an unfavorable horoscope. The theorem to be proved is that if any number, if that any even number, excuse me, of people take seats at random around a circular table bearing place cards with their names, it is always possible to rotate the table until at least two people are opposite their cards. Assume the contrary. Let n be the even number of persons, and let their names be replaced by the integers 0 to n minus 1, in such a way that the place cards are numbered in sequence around the table. If a delegate d originally sits down to a place card p, then the table must be rotated r steps before he is correctly seated, where r equals p minus d, unless this is negative, in which case r equals p minus d plus n. The collection of values of d and of p for all delegates is clearly the integers 0 to n minus 1, each taken once, but so also is the collection of values of r, or else two delegates would be correctly seated at the same time. Summing the above equations, one of one for each delegate gives s minus s plus nk, where k is an integer and s equals 9, in parentheses n minus 1, close parentheses over 2. The sum of the integers from 0 to n minus 1, it follows that n equals 2k plus 1. An odd number. This contradicts the original assumption. I actually solved this problem some years ago. Rybicki writes, For a different but completely equivalent problem, a generalization of the non-attacking eight queens, problem for a cylindrical, cylindrical chessboard where diagonal attack is restricted to diagonals slanting in one direction only. The Curse of Greyface and the Introduction of Negativism To choose order over disorder, or disorder over order, is to accept a trip composed of both the creative and the destructive. But to choose the creative over the destructive is an all-creative trip composed of both order and disorder. To accomplish this, one need only accept creative disorder along with and equal to creative order, and also be willing to reject destructive order as an undesirable equal to destructive disorder. The curse of Greyface included the division of life into order, disorder, as the essential positive-negative polarity, instead of building a game foundation with creative, destructive as the essential positive-negative. He has thereby caused man to endure the destructive aspects of order and has prevented man from effectively participating in the creative uses of disorder. Civilization reflects this unfortunate division. Order over over create and destroy, and disorder over create and destroy. POEE proclaims that the other division is preferable, and we work towards the proposition that creative disorder, like creative order, is possible and desirable, and that destructive order, like destructive disorder, is unnecessary and undesirable. Seek the sacred cow. Therein you will find the foolishness of all order disorder. They are the same. Eurasian Magical Ritual The Turkey Curse Revealed by the Apostle Dr. Van Van Mojo as a specific counter to the evil curse of Greyface, the Turkey Curse is here passed on to Eurasians everywhere for their just protection. The Turkey Curse works. It is firmly grounded on the fact that Greyface and his followers absolutely require an aneuristic setting to function, and that a timely introduction of aristic vibrations will neutralize their foundation. The Turkey Curse is designed solely to counteract negative aneuristic vibes, and if introduced into a neutral or positive aneuristic setting, like a poet working out of word rhythms, it will prove harmless, or at worst, simply annoying. It is not designed for use against negative heuristic vibes, although it can be used as an heuristic vehicle to introduce positive vibes into a misguided heuristic setting. 
In this instance, it would be the responsibility of the Eurasian magician to manufacture the positive vibrations if results are to be achieved. Caution! All magic is powerful and requires courage and integrity on the part of the magician. This ritual, if misused, can backfire. Positive motivation is essential for self-protection. To perform the turkey curse, take a foot stance as if you were John L. Sullivan, preparing for fisticuffs. Face the particular gray face you wish to short circuit, or towards the direction of the negative aneuristic vibration that you wish to neutralize. Begin by waving your arms in any elaborate manner and making motions with your hands as though you were Mandrake feeling up a sexy giantess. Chant loudly and clearly, gobble, 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 gobble. The results will be instantly apparent. A Primer for a Region Evangelist by Lord Omar The Socratic approach is most successful when confronting the ignorant. The Socratic approach is what you call starting an argument by asking questions. You approach the innocent and simply ask, Did you know that God's name is Eris and that he is a girl? If he should answer yes, then he is probably a fellow Eurasian, and so you can forget it. If he says no, then quickly proceed to the blind assertion and say, well, he is a girl, and his name is Eris. Shrewdly observe if the subject is convinced. If he is, swear him into the Legion of Dynamic Discord before he changes his mind. If he does not appear to be convinced, then proceed to the faith bit. But you must have faith. All is lost without faith. I sure feel sorry for you if you don't have faith. And then add the argument by fear. And in an ominous voice, ask, do you know what happens to those who deny goddess? If he hesitates, don't tell him that he will surely be reincarnated as a precious Mao button and distributed to the poor in the region of Thud, which would be a mean thing to say. Just shake your head sadly, and while wiping a tear from your eye, go to the first clause ploy, wherein you point to all of the discord and confusion in the world and exclaim, Well, who the hell do you think did all of this, wise guy? If he, if he says... Nobody, just impersonal forces, then quickly respond with the argument by semantical gymnastics and say that he's absolutely right and that those impersonal forces are female and that her name is Eris. If he, wonder of wonders, still remains obstinate, then finally resort to the figurative symbolism dodge and confide that sophisticated people like himself recognize that Eris is a figurative symbol for an ineffable metaphysical reality, and that the Eurasian movement is really more like a poem than like a science, and that he is liable to be turned into a precious malbutton and distributed to the poor in the region of Thud if he does not get hip, then put him on the mailing list. Sink A Game by Alahara ELNS Rayville Apple Panthers. Sync is played by Discordians and people of much ilk. Purpose to sink object or an object or a thing in water or mud or anything you can. Sink something in. Rules. Sinking is allowed in any manner to date 10 pound chunks of mud were used to sink a tobacco can. It is preferable to have a pit of water or a hole to drop things in. But rivers, bays, gulfs, I dare say even oceans can be used. Turns are taken thusly. Whosomever gets the junk up in the air first. Duty. It shall be the duty of all persons playing sink to help find more objects to sink once one object is sunk. Upon sinking, the sink shall yell, I sank it! Or something equally as thoughtful. Naming of objects is sometimes desirable. The object is named by the finder of such object, and whoever sinks it can say, for instance, I sunk Columbus, Ohio. In a way, we are a kind of peace corps. Major A. Abraham Lincoln, German, training director of the Green Beret Special Warfare School, Father Bragg, North Carolina. A joint effort of the Discordian Society, Post Office Liberation Front. Export license not required. This is a chain letter. Within the next 55 days, you will receive 3,100 pounds of chains. In the meantime, plant your seeds. If a lot of people who receive this letter plant a few seeds, and a lot of people receive this letter, then a lot of seeds will get planted. Plant you seeds. In parks. On lots. Public flower beds. In remote places. At city halls. Wherever. Whenever. Or start a plantation in your closet. But read up on it first. For that. 
For casual planting, it's best to soak them in water for a day and plant in a bunch of about five, about half an inch deep. Don't worry much about weather. They know when the weather is wrong and will try to wait for nature. Don't soak them if it's winter time. Seeds are a very hardy life form and strongly desire to grow and flourish, but some of them need people's help to get started. Plant your seeds. Make a few copies of this letter. Five would be nice. And send them to friends of yours. Try to mail to different cities and states, even different countries. If you would rather not, then please pass this copy on to someone else and perhaps they would like to. There is no truth to the legend that if you throw away a chain letter, then all sorts of catastrophic, abominable, and outrageous disasters will happen, except, of course, from your seed's point of view. Question. How come a woodpecker doesn't bash its brains out? Answer. Nobody has ever explained that. Avatars. A 5x5 five five square. On the top... From left to right, Eresian, Aristic, Anaristic, Miscellaneous, and Fifth Column. On the right side, from top to bottom, Exploded, Expanded, Conscientious, Conscious, and Unconscious. The numbers in the squares, from Eresian, from the top first square of the first line, going down, is 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, and then it continues to the right, 1b, 2b, 3b, 4b, 5b, 1c, 2c, 3c, 4c, 5c, etc. And on the left side, across the y-axis, is mundane. One square is holy. Plant your seeds. Keep. Prices down. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of the earth. To you it shall be for meat. Genesis 129. Question. Have a friendly class talk. Permit each child to tell any part of the unit on courtesy in the corridors and on the stairs that he enjoyed. Name some causes of disturbance in your school. Execute. Chapter 1. The Epistle to the Paranoids, Lord Omar. 1. Ye have locked yourself up in cages of fear, and, behold, do ye now complain that ye lack freedom? 2. Ye have cast out your brothers for devils, and now complain ye, lamenting that ye been left to fight alone. 3. All chaos was once your kingdom, verily held ye domination over the entire pentaverse. But today ye wax sore afraid in dark corners, nooks, and sinkholes. 4. Oh, how the darknesses do crowd up, one against the other, in ye hearts. What fear ye more than what ye have wroughten? 5. Verily, Verily, I say unto you, not all the sinister ministers of the Bavarian Illuminati, working together in multitudes, could so entwine the land with tribulation as have your baseless warnings. Despite strong evidence to the contrary, persistent rumor has it that it was Mr. Momoto's brother who has swallowed Mr. Momoto's in the summer of 44. Advertisement, Bavarian Illuminati, founded by Haman E. Sabah, 1090 A.D. 5090 A.I. 4850 A.M. Referred by Adam Weishop. 1776 A.D. 3776 A.L. and 3336 A.M. The ancient and illuminated seers of Bavaria invite you all to join the world's oldest and most successful conspiracy. Have you ever secretly wondered why the Great Pyramid has five sides, counting the bottom? Is there an esoteric allegory concealed in the apparently innocent legend of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? What is the true secret sinister reality lying behind the ancient Aztec legend of Quetzalcoatl? Why do scholarly anthropologists turn pale with terror at the very mention of the forbidden name yog sothoth Who is the man in Zurich? that some swear is Lee Harvey Oswald. What really did happen to Ambrose Sears? If your IQ is over 150 and you have $3,125 plus handling, you might be eligible for a trial membership in the AISB. If you think you qualify, put the money in a cigar box and bury it in your backyard. One of your underground agents will contact you shortly. I dare you. Tell no one. Accidents have a strange way of happening to people who talk too much about the Bavarian Illuminati. May we warn you against limitation 
against imitations. Ours is the original and genuine. Nothing is true. Everything is permissible. Death to all fanatics. Nil carborundum illegitimo. Official Bavarian Illuminati. Illuminate the opposition. Adam Weishaupt. Grand Primus Illuminatus. Inter-office private wire sent. The ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria. Vigilance Lodge, Mad Malik, Hauptscheißmeister, resident for North Norton Cabal, Discordian Society Super Secret Cryptographic Cipher Code. Of possible interests to all Discordians, this information is herewith released from the vaults of AISB under the auspices of Episcopos Dr. Mordecai Malignati Malignatius, KNS. Sample message, Hail Eris. Conversion is A through Z, and each letter is numbered 1 through 26, so A1, B2, C3, etc. Step 1. Write out message, Hail Eris, and put all vowels at end, H-L-R-S-A-I-E-I. -I. Step 2. Reverse order, I-E-I-A-S-R-L-H. Step 3. Convert to numbers, 9591-1918-12-8. Step 4. Put into numerical order. 1589921819 Step 5 Convert back to letters A E H I I L R S This cryptographic cipher code is guaranteed to be 100% unbreakable Beware the paranoids are watching Novus Ordo Seclorum Here is a letter from AISB to POEE The world's oldest and most successful conspiracy Bavarian Illuminati Founded by Hassani Sabah, reformed by Adam Weishaupt. Official business. Surreptitious business. From Mad Malik. Dear Brother Mal 2, In response to your request for unclassified adjective prop to be inserted in the new edition of the Principia, hope the following will be of use, and please stop bothering us with your incessant letters. Episcopos Mordecai, keeper of the notary Sojak, informs me that you are welcome to reveal that our oldest extant records show us to have been fully established in Atlantis, circa 18,000 BC, under Cull, the galley slave who ascended to the throne of Vol Volusia, revived by Peleus of Koth, circa 10,000 BC. Possibly it was he who taught the inner teachings to Conan of Chimeria. After Conan became king of Aquilonia, first brought to the Western Hemisphere by Conan and taught to Mayan priesthood, Conan is Quetzalcoatl. That was for Ahua, Eight Kumhu, Mayan date, revived by Abdul al Hazred in his infamous Al-Azif, circa 800 AD. Al-Azif translated into Latin by Alaus Wormius, 1132 AD, as the Necronomicon. In 10,000, I mean, in, sorry, not 10,000, in 1090 AD was the founding of the Ismailian sect Hashishism by Hassan Isaba, with secret teachings based on all has read Peleus and Kull, founding of the Illuminated Ones of Bavaria by Adam Weishaupt on May 1st of 1776. He based it on the others. Weishaupt brought it to the United States during the period that he was impersonating George Washington. And it was he who was the man in black who gave the design for the great seal to Jefferson in the garden that night. The illuminated tradition is now, of course, in the hands of the ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria, AISB, headquarters here in the United States. Our teachings are not in need, I remind you, available for publication. No harm, though, in admitting that some of them can be found disguised in Joyce's Finnegan's Wake, Burroughs' Nova Express, the King James translation of the Holy Bible, though not the Latin or Hebrew. The Blue Book, not to speak of Ben Franklin's private papers, but we are still suppressing those. Considering current developments, you know the ones I speak of, it has been dedicated to reveal a few more of our front organizations. Your publication is timely, so mention that in addition to the old fronts like the Masons, the Rothschild Banks, and the Federal Reserve System, we now have significant control of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, since Hoover died last year. But that is still secret. 
The students of for a democratic society, the Communist Party USA, the American Anarchists Association, the Junior Chamber of Commerce, the Black Lotus Society, the Republican Party, the John Dillinger Died for Your Sins Society, and the Campfire Girls. It is still useful to continue the sham of the Birches that we are seeking world domination. So do not reveal that political and economic control was generally complete several generations ago, and that we are just playing with the world for a while until civilization advances sufficiently for Phase 5. Ancient Illuminated Seers of Bavaria, the Discordian Society. Malik to Maltu, page 2. In fact, you might still push Venard's the Federal Reserve hoax, since the Babylonian captivity there has existed at a determined, behind-the-scenes, under-the-table, atheistic, satanic, anti-Christian force, worshippers of Maimon, whose underlying purpose is world control through the control of money. July 1st, 1776, correct that to May 1st, Venard can't get anything right. The serpent raised its head in the underground secret society known as the Illuminati, founded by Adam Weishaupt. There is considerable documentary evidence to prove all revolutions, wars, depressions, strikes, and chaos stem from this source, etc., etc. You know, the stuff. The general location of our U.S. headquarters, incidentally, has been nearly exposed, and so we will be moving for the first time this century. What a drag. If you want, you can reveal that it is located deep in the labyrinth of sewers beneath Dealey Plaza in Dallas, and is presided over the Dealey Lama. Enclosed are some plans for several new potential locations. Please review and add any comments you feel pertinent, especially regarding the heuristic propensity of the Pentagon site. Oh, and we have some good news for you, Brother Mal. You know that Zambian cybernetics genius who joined us. Well, he has secretly coordinated the FBI computers with the Zurich system, and our theor theoreticians are in ecstasy over the new information coming out. Look, if you people there can keep from blowing yourselves up for only two more generations, then we will finally have it. After 20,000 years, Cole's dream will be realized. We can hardly believe it, but the outcome is certain, given the time our grandchildren, Mal, if civilization makes it through this crisis, our grandchildren will live in a world of authentic freedom and authentic harmony and authentic satisfaction. I hope I'm alive to see it, Mal. Success is in our grasp. On our grasp. Twenty thousand years. Ah, uh, I get space just thinking about it. Good luck on the Principia. Ewidge Blumencroft. Hail Eris. Love, Mad Malik. P.S. Private. Note for publication in the Principia. We are returning to the two Zwak ciphers for classified communications. Herewith is your copy. Do not divulge this information security. E5. Part 5. The Golden Secret. Nonsense as Salvation. The human race will begin solving its problems on the day that it ceases taking itself so seriously. To that end, POEE proposes the counter-game of nonsense as salvation. Salvation from an ugly and barbarous existence that is the result of taking order so seriously and so seriously fearing contrary orders and disorder. That games are taken as more important than life, rather than taking life as the art of playing games. To this end, we propose that man developed his innate love for disorder, and play with the goddess Eris, and know that it is a joyful play, and that thereby can be revoked the curse of Greyface. If you can master nonsense as well as you have already learned to master sense, then each will expose the other for what it is, absurdity. From that moment of illumination, a man begins to be free regardless of his surroundings. He becomes free to play order games and change them at will. He becomes free to play disorder games just for the hell of it. He becomes free to play neither or both, and as the master of his own games, he plays without fear, and therefore without frustration, and therefore with good will in his soul and love in his being. And when men become free, then mankind will be free. May you be free of the curse of Greyface. May the goddess put twinkles in your eyes. May you have the knowledge of a sage and the wisdom of a child. Hail, Eris. Thus ends the Principia Discordia. This being the fourth edition, March 
San Francisco, a revision of the third edition of 500 copies, Wumped Together in Tampa 1969, which revised the second edition of 100 copies from Los Angeles 1969, which was a revision of Principia Discordia, or How the West Was Lost, published in New Orleans in 1965 in five copies, which were mostly lost. If you think the Principia is just a ha-ha, then go read it again. Office of my High Reverence, Malak Lips the Younger, KSC, OPOVIG, High Priest, POEE, Kalisti, published by POEE, Head Temple, San Francisco, on the future site of beautiful San Andreas Canyon. All rights reserved, reprint what you like. The last word. The foregoing document was revealed to Maltu by the goddess herself through many consultations with her within his pineal gland. It is guaranteed to be the word, the word of of goddess. However, it is only fair to state that goddess doesn't always say the same thing to each listener, and that other episcopuses are sometimes told quite different things in their revelations, which are also the world of goddess. Consequently, if you prefer a Discordian sect other than POEE, then none of these truths are binding, and it is a rotten shame that you have read all the way down to the very last word. anti Aristotelian League Library. Discordian Society, dedicated to an advanced understanding of the paraphysical manifestations of everyday chaos, P.O.E. Did you know that you have a lopsided pineal gland? Well, probably you do have one, and it's unfortunate because lopsided pineal glands have perverted the free spirit of man, and subverted life into a frustrating, unhappy, and hopeless mess. Fortunately, you have before you a handbook that will show you how to discover your salvation through Eris, the goddess of confusion. It will advise you how to balance your pineal gland and reach spiritual illumination, and it will teach you how to turn your miserable mess into a beautiful, joyful, and splendid one. P.O.E.E. is a bridge from Pisces to Aquarius. Hail Eris, all hail Discordia, P.O.E.E. The Words of the Illumined Rated X Naturally Why are we here? Have you ever secretly wondered why the Great Pyramid has five sides counting the bottom? Kalisti. This may be the most important guide in your life. Suppressed Knowledge. Hygiene. The Lord promised, Therefore, behold, I will bring evil upon the house of Jeroboam, and will cut off from Jeroboam him that pisseth against the wall. 1 Kings 14.10. This unsanitary practice caused serious erosion of the mud walls. Grand Opera. Wherefore my bowel shall sound like a, sh a harp for Mob, and mine inward parts for Kirharish. Isaiah 16.11. Face to face with the mighty forces and elements of nature, the thoughtful man fiercely contemplates his place in the great cosmic scheme. P.O.E. Yes, I'd like to know the five simple actions that will turn me into a mental wizard in a single week. Principia Discoria, or how I found Goddess and what I did to her when I found her, wherein is explained absolutely everything, worth knowing about absolutely anything. The Goddess Eris prevails. Callisti. Warning, prolonged use in a darkened room may induce hallucinations or trigger undesired side effects. Should not be used in the presence of persons subjective to epilepsy. Special afterward to the Lumpanics edition of Principia Discordia. G. H. Hill, San Francisco, 1979. All rights reversed. Callisti. Reprint what you like. Interview with Norton Cabal. By Gypsy Scripto, Special Correspondent. It has been ten years since I met the mysterious Malak Lips the Younger. I was freelancing for the underground papers and went by POEE Head Temple at 555 Battery Street to try for an interview. I found him in the Temple P.O. box, busy wrapping up the new fourth edition of Principia. He seemed impatient with me, insisting that he didn't have the time or inclination for foolish questions from reporters. Undaunted, I burst out with questions like whether he preferred Panama Red or Acapulco Gold, and how the fuck did we manage to fit inside of a tiny post office box and other things apropos, a naive young semi-literate dropout hippie writer. He asked me if I wanted to drop mescaline and fuck all night, and said he knew how to turn himself into a unicorn, and therefore might be there might be room for a tiny interview on the cover of the Principia if I wanted to work for the greater poop. So I said, Sure, okay, I've never dropped mescaline in a post office box before. 
It turned out I was among the last to see Malaclipse. As subsequent issues of Greater Poop revealed, he was to disappear and POEE business was to be assumed by his students at Norton Cabal. Professor Ignotum P. Ignotius, Department of Comparative Realities, was assigned the trust of the POEE. Scruple and Reverend Dr. Occupant became keeper of the box. The newly published copies of Principia were distributed by Mad Malik, block disorganizer, who had distribution contacts with the Aluminum Bavariati. Practical relations remained in the hands of Concepts artist G. Hill. When the 1,000 Principias were gone, the Greater Poop stopped publishing. Head Temple closed down and the Cabal just seemed to evaporate. Finally, even the box was closed, but over the years I noticed that the copies were still circulating and that independent Discordian cabals would occasionally pop out of nowhere, and still do, and I would wonder what ever happened to Malaclips. When I read the Illuminatus trilogy, I resolved to again find and interview the de denizens of Joshua Norton Cabal of the Discordian Society. As I ca cabled over Knob to San Francisco's Station O post office, I couldn't help but wonder at Goddess's hand in assigning street addresses to her outposts. Maltu had told me that good Lord Omar always filed everything under O for out of file. Maya is marvelous, I was thinking when I rapped on the little metal door and was greeted warmly by a huge beard who introduced himself as Professor Ignatius. He ushered me into a spacious wood paneled and tapestry hung parlor where three others were laughing and passing around a wine jug. The sunny one in a tunic was the Reverend Dr. Occupant, the trim khaki and jeans was Mad Malik, and the wine jug claimed to be Hill. I got the recorder on. Gypsy Scripto, in response to a question. 1969, but only briefly. I guess I missed you guys. Mad Malik. No wonder. He was pretty much a one-man show then. We were just his students, and we're usually off on errands. You worked for the poop? Gypsy. Well, for one night, anyway. The interview is in the Principia. Reverend Dr. Occupant. Malik was the only one he would ever let write for the poop or get on the letterhead. Gypsy. Did you, Malik, have higher authority than the others? Malik. No, but I was allowed to speak in the poop, because Malaclips the Younger hated politics. He was infuriated with Johnson and Nixon over Vietnam, because it was turning the Renaissance into a political revolution, and was stealing his sacred thunder. So he trained me in Zenarchy, which he learned from Omar, and I was the official anarcho-pacifist for the Cabal. Also, I was... Liaison to the ancient illuminated seers of Bavaria, the Chicago Discordians. Later, Omar activated the Hung Mung Kong Tong and Elf on Zenarchist principles, and also Operation Mindfuck. I was also into those, though at that time I was masquerading in gr greater poop as a cremated cabbage to throw off the FBI. Gypsy to Hill, since you wrote it, I take it you are an anarchist? G. H. Hill. Since then, I have given up anarchy. Too many rules. Hating the government and all that stuff. Ignotum per Ignotius. It's like hating your own fantasies. Malik. Anarchy. Is also standing up and proceeding forward. Fantasy rule or not. The condition is the same. Occupant. Brother needs some wine. Malik. We have had this argument before. Reverend Dr. Brother. But wine before platitudes fill it up. Gypsy to Hill. And pacifism? Hill. I'm not sure I ever was one. Mal too was not. Malik was. Personally, I accepted self-defense, yet I could never reconcile that with the ideal. I finally gave up on that one, too. Actually, I just gave up on idealism. Ignatius. Idealism lives with rules. Realism lives with rocks. Hill. Yeah, I get along better with rocks. Malik. Mal too once told me that pacifism was a dilemma. If everybody was a pacifist, then everything would be perfect. But nobody is going to be a pacifist unless I am first. But if I am a s and somebody else is not, then I get screwed. He said that there were five choices under the circumstance. The first was napalming farmers, and the second was executing your parents. The third was hypocrisy, the fourth was cowardice, and the fifth was to, to swallow the dilemma. Zenarchists are trained in dilemma swallowing. Occupant. So are other regions like P.O.E. Ignatius. That is characteristic of the Discordian perspective. Hill. But of course, training contradicts 
Discordian principles. Malik. Oh, so what? Contradictions are nothing to Discordians? Occupant. Dilemma. Sclemma. To Gypsy. What do you think of this pretty ma'am? We don't get to hear your thoughts. Gypsy. I'm reporting now. You talk. Occupant. Later then? Gypsy. Perhaps later. Occupant. You are smiling. Gypsy. Hey. Guy. Later. To Hill. Doesn't this leave you a little skitzy? Hill. It's okay. I'm half Gemini. Gypsy. What's the other half? Hill. Toro. That makes me stubborn skitzy. Ignatius. I'm a whale. Occupant. I chose satire. Malik. Spirits don't have signs. Hill. A character can have a sign if I want it so. Occupant. Well, I can have a sign if I want to and screw both of you. Malik. Come on, Greg. You just think that we're your characters. Occupant. You're inhabited by Malakalypse the Younger. He calls you to create roles, and those roles are being performed by us spirits. Ignatius. I per a perfectly normal pagan relationship? Hill. Well, you can look at it like that if you want to, but I created Mal 2 to my specifications, just as I conceived all the rest of you. Occupant. You didn't invent Eris. She caused you to think you created the spirit of Malakalypse. Hill. Oh, bull. Besides, I changed her so much the Greeks would never recognize her. Occupant. That's what she wanted. Ignatius. Deities change things all around all the time. Malik. What do you... What you don't realize is that a spirit has a self-identity. Hill. Nope. A spirit is a product of definition, and the one who is doing the defining around here is me. Your identity is what I say it is. Just to prove it, I'm going to change your name. Sinister Dexter. It's okay with me. Fate is fate. I never much liked Mad Malik anyway. Ignatius. Besides, people confused with Joe confused him with Joe Malik in Illuminatus. Dexter. I sort of enjoyed the confusion part. Occupant. Doesn't prove anything anyway. Gypsy. That name sounds familiar. Where's it from? Hill. It's a name I came up with in old days and never used much. It's on page 38 of the Principia, referring to Vice President Spyro Agnew. I always thought I invented it, but now it sounds like a Stan Freeberg name now that I think about it. It may have struck in my preconscious memory from early TV. Gypsy. Can you use it without his permission? Hill. If it is his, I don't know. I hope so. It means left, right. In Latin, and it is a perfect name for a libertarian anarchist. Actually, in my kind of art, the question of what can I use freely and what can I not is a very trickly problem. Gypsy. How do you mean? Hill. Well, take a collage, for example, like the early one on page 36 of the Principia. Each little piece was extracted from some larger work created by some other artist and published and maybe copyrighted. I find them in newspapers and magazines, mostly, often from ads. With the collage, you select and extract from your environment, and then assemble into an original relationship. The Principia itself is a collage, a conceptual collage. All of it happens simultaneously, but visually, it is a montage, passing through time, like a book does. There is a lot of pirated stuff in the Principia, especially in the margins, but also, I sympathize with the artists who must own and sell their works to earn a living. Art, like knowledge, should be free fodder for everyone, but it isn't. It is perplexing. Gypsy, where did all the things in Principia come from? Hill, well, a full answer would take a whole book in itself. Most of the writing credited to a name is a true person, and almost always a different name means a different person. Most of the non-credited, you know, Malakalypse, text is mine, although some things credited to either Maltu or Omar were actually co-written and passed back and forth and rewritten by each of us. The marginalia, dingbats, and pasted in titles, and heads and things came from wherever I found them, some of which is original but uncredited Discordian output, like the page head on 12 and other pages, which is from a series of satiric memo pads from our people, Underworld Cabal. All page layout is mine, and some whole graphics like the Sacred Cow and the HodgePodge Transformer are mine, but mostly I just found stuff and integrated it. Mostly I did concepts, say 50% of the writing, 10% of the graphics, all the layout. Gypsy, specifically, what are some of the sources? Hill, well, the poem on the front cover is by Walt Kelly and was spoken by one of his characters in Pogo. The government seals starting on page one are from a book of sample seals from the U.S. government printing office. 
Western Union on page 6 got into the act because I used to be a teletype operator and had access to blank forms. Rubber stamps came from all over the place and some like the apple on page 27. I carved myself. A few I ordered to my specification, like on page 1. The quote on top of page 8 might be from Barnum. I'm not sure. The jumping man on page 12 is from an advertisement. I recognize a style of a popular commercial artist, but I don't know his name. The Chinese on that page is a grocery ad, I think. The Norton money on page 14 is historic, plus my little additions. The apple on page 17, as well as the triangle on 23 and the sacred cow on 50, are, believe it or not, paste-ups from my mimeographs from Seattle Cabal. That group produced the best damn mimeography, mimeography I've ever seen. The lick here box on page 23 is one of my many tidbits making the round in alternative underground newspapers in those days. Trip 5 page header on 29 was a chapter title in one of Tim Leary's books. The Night on the Bull with the TV antenna on his helmet on page 46 came from a very artistic magazine called Horse Shit and put out by two brothers from Long Beach. I don't remember their names. Wonderful magazine. Occupant. Eris told Mal to what to use and where to find it. Hill. Yeah, in a way that is right. That is why my name doesn't appear anywhere on the Principia, and why it was published with a broken copyright. Reprint what you like. I knew I was taking liberties and didn't want my intentions to be misunderstood. It was an experiment and was intended to be an underground work, and that involves a different set of ethics than commercial work. Gypsy. There are no real names at all. Hill. Oh, some. Camden Benares is a real name because he legally changed his original name to his holy name. Also, instead of using Mordecai Malignatius, I used Bob Wilson's real name on page 12 because Werewolf Bridge was a work before Discordianism. And, of course, real people like Niels Bohr crop up in quotes. Gypsy. What do you think about the Principia now? Would you want to change it? Hill. I consider it a successful work, and I wouldn't want to change it. In some ways, it is immature, and I am not the same person. I was ten years ago. But it accomplished the objectives I set for myself, and it has the effect I wanted it to have. There are a few errors, though. Gypsy. Like what? Hill. Oh, I changed a quote from the Tom Gnostic on page 61, and I don't think he ever did forgive me for it. He's right. Starbucks Pebbles should have been preceded by the myth of Starbuck, which was being saved for something else and never got used. I should have used it when I had the chance. And then Eris did a neat little trick on me by having IBM make the Greek's electric typewriter element not coincide with all the characters on their keyboard. So the little Kalisti that first appears on the title page and lastly on the back cover came out Kalixti, and I was too dumb to know the difference. Gypsy. Will there ever be a fifth edition? Hill. There already is a fifth edition by Mal 2. It is a one-page telegram that reduces everything to an infinite ohm. I found it at Western Union where a machine got stuck and kicked out hundreds of pages of nothing but M's. He made it the fifth edition and then left. Principia Malacalypse was a very personal work for me and actually took ten years to culminate. It was a one single statement that included my adolescence in the 50s and my young adulthood in the 60s. When I finally had the paste-ups done, I knew that I had finished it. That is why, quote, Malacalypse left. I knew it was finished. I didn't know exactly what it was, but it was done. Occupant. See? Gypsy. Earlier you said that you met your objectives. Just what were those objectives? Hill. Well, that's hard to answer because it kept refining itself over the years. In 1969, I mainly thought of myself as a cosmic clown, and I set out to prove by demonstration that a deity can be anything at all. In other words, people invent gods and not the other way around. Later, I decided that I was doing some kind of conceptual art. In the 1950s, my culture taught me that I was created by and for a deity, a specific male deity, and that all other deities are false. Yet my growing experience showed me that any deity is true in some sense and false in some other sense. So I set out to do what my society told me is impossible, make a real religion from a patently absurd deity. In the 1950s, a female deity was blasphemy. In the 1970s, a humorous deity is still considered impossible, ridiculous, and blasphemous. 
As far as I'm concerned, I have proven my point. Eris is a real deity, and even though I don't promote regionism as a serious religion. Occupant. I do. Dexter. You speak for yourself. Ignatius. Here, here. Hill. I do point out that it makes just as much sense from its own perspective as all the others do from each of their own perspectives. Occupant. I think paganism is a valid spiritual path. I encourage Eresianism because it makes fun of itself. I think this is healthy. Ignatius. If you can live rewardingly with goddess Eris, you can live with any deity, including none or all. Dexter. I don't much go for the worship business, but I agree with Occupant about the spirit of the thing. We live in a time of turmoil. The whole planet is in a state of change. If we, as a species, cower from the confusion, then we die with the dying. This is revolution. Ignatius. I am an atheist myself. There is no Greg Hill. Laughter. <laughs> Gypsy to Hill. What do you think of Illuminatus? Hill. Oh, I love it. I was finishing Principia when Shea and Wilson were working on Illuminatus. It took Dell five years to publish it. Maybe that is significant. The 1969 Discordian Society was a male network between independent writers of various kinds. Norton Cabal was just me and my characters, and I used the other Cabals as sort of a laboratory. In return, other Discordians would bounce their stuff off of me. We would toss in ideas, and anybody could take anything out. It was a concept stew. The exchanging of ideas and techniques broadened and encouraged all of us. I like Illuminatus for the surrealism, a very effective method of writing. Ignatius. I got misquoted worse. I wasn't even in that scene, and if I had been, then I would have said something else. Dexter to Ignatius. That was me in that scene. Ignatius. Oh, is that what that was? Dexter. He got out of he got our names mixed up. Hill. He got mixed up about me too in Cosmic Trigger. Bob says that when Oswald was buying the assassination rifle, my girlfriend was printing the first edition of Principia on Jim Garrison's Xerox. It wasn't my girlfriend. It was Kerry's. It wasn't the first edition Principia. It was some earlier Discordian thoughts. It wasn't Garrison Xerox. It was his mime mimeograph. And it wasn't just before Kennedy was shot, but a couple of years before that. The first edition Principia, by the way, was reproduced at Xerox, Cop at Xerox Corp. When Xero Xerography was a new technology, which was my second New Orleans trip in 1965. I worked for a guy on Bourbon Street who was a Xerox salesman by, that, by day. Dear Dexter, I think that George Dorn took too much guff from Hagbird. If someone pulls a weapon on me, I'm more inclined to either leave or kill the son of a bitch. Occupant, you're supposed to be a pacifist. Dexter, I'm speaking figuratively, of course. I'll tell you more tomorrow. I checked this further with Mr. Thornley. He says that the woman in question was not his girlfriend. She was just a friend, and it wasn't a couple of years before Kennedy was shot, but had to be a couple of years after, but before Garrison investigated Thornley. G.S. Gypsy. To Hill. Did you really translate erotic intrusion poetry? Hill. Sure, but I used a pen name. I signed it Robert Anton Wilson. A quick rap is heard on the door. Gypsy. I have only one question left. Dexter. I'll get it. Gypsy. What I really want to know is how can we all fit inside of a tiny little post office box? Dexter to Gypsy. It's a telegram for you from Mal 2. Gypsy to me. Paper tearing. Gypsy to me? If I told everybody how they could live inside of a post office box, then everybody would stop paying landlords and go live inside their post office boxes. It would collapse the building. Can you imagine post offices collapsing all over the country, the hemisphere, the planet, the whole world's communication system would be destroyed? No, no, I must not say. I dare not. Principia Discordia, or a caterpillar's praise to the butterfly, being the final statement of Malacalypse the Younger. Published by Joshua Norton Cabal, San Francisco, Callisti, all rights reserved. The Fifth Edition, Western Union Telegram. Um, 